If you currently manage your inventory, your products, or your stock in a spreadsheet, you're not alone. Most small teams do. That's because a platform like Google Sheets, it's free, is flexible, is easy to use, and works with just about anything. But once things start to grow, more products, more people, more updates, it starts to feel like you're fighting the tool. You end up double checking numbers, fixing someone else's mistakes, stock goes missing, restock gets delayed, and suddenly you find that your inventory tracker becomes a liability rather than a solution. So today we're looking at a better way to manage your inventory without ditching the spreadsheet you've already built and without getting locked into expensive software. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies build and get automated using industry leading tools. For a lot of small teams, Google Sheets is the go-to. It's free, it's flexible, and most importantly, you already know how to use it. You've probably got stock levels, product names, maybe a column for restocks, and it works well until it doesn't. Because as soon as things scale and start to grow, Google Sheets will hold you back. But here's the thing. Most inventory software out there is expensive or overkill. You don't need robotic barcodes. You don't need warehouse syncing. You just need a simple tool that works for you. Something cleaner, more secure, and easier to manage. So today, I'm going to show you how you can take a Google Sheet that you already use and turn it into a proper inventory app without code. All right, so let's take a look at the Google Sheet we're working with for this video. Now, this is a pretty typical inventory setup. It's more advanced than most people give credit for. We've got product SKUs, categories, suppliers, cost and retail prices, stock levels, reorder points, restock dates, and we've even got total inventory value in there. Now, you'll notice that it's doing the job, but it's also doing a lot. And by that, I mean, it's easy for someone to break a formula. It's hard for people to keep consistent, especially if multiple people are editing. And when things start to scale, it'll get messy. It'll get fast. We'll find ourselves being lost in the chaos. So now we're going to take this exact Google Sheet, the one here I'm showing you, and we're going to turn it into a proper inventory management software. How are we going to do that? Well, with a bit of magic from vibe coding. Think of it like building with AI. But instead of writing code, you describe what you want. The tool understands your prompt and builds it out. Interface, logic, automation, even design. It means you're not stuck in a rigid template. And this is what makes Zite and other vibe coding tools so different from other software out there. You're not learning a new platform. You're not adjusting your business to fit their mold. Zite adapts to you using vibe coding to translate what you need into a working tool. So rather than spending weeks learning how to use a new software, you can build out your inventory management system in a matter of hours using the Google Sheet you already have. And before we dive into building out this inventory management software using a Google Sheet, I want you to see what is possible with Zite in a matter of seconds. So I simply prompted the Zite AI to generate an inventory management software. That's all that I provided it. And this is what it has come back with. It's currently got the inventory manager dashboard showing our total products, products that are low on stock items, our current total inventory value, as well as total stock units. We've then got products, which allows us to dive in, edit the products directly from this app, and we can also add new products. We've also got transactions, where all transactions are recorded, letting us know the transaction ID, product, the quantity, amount, and the date of that. We can also create a new transaction directly through this. Now, this wasn't built on top of any existing data. Instead, Zite was able to create its own relational databases. Here we've got products, suppliers, and transactions. Zite now offers native databases. However, we are not here to learn about that. We're here to learn how you can turn your Google Sheet into a powerful inventory management system. So starting with this Google Sheet, this is what we want to turn into our functional app. So I've grabbed the URL and I've hopped over to Zite and I've created a prompt. I'm asking Zite to build an inventory management tool using this Google Sheet as the backend that I've linked the Google Sheet. I've then included some in-depth prompting. I've asked it to turn this into a clean mobile friendly app and I've asked for the following functionality, filtered views, per user permissions, mobile optimized restock form. We want to ensure that this is access and easy to use on all viewports. Then I've included some high level or overview information that will need to be front and center. 
visual stock status, inventory value summary, single item detail. We've also got search functionality and we need to ensure that the app feels clean and intuitive. Speed needs to be of the utmost importance mobile usability and keep the data fully synced with the existing Google Sheet. So I prompted that, it took a few seconds and now Zite has come back to me asking me to connect the correct Google Sheet. So you want to connect Google Sheets and your Google Workspace to Zite, verify that you are the owner of that account and then once you have connected it, you should find your spreadsheet within your list. Here we've got the inventory management. So I'll select that, that's going to connect it and then it's going to show me the worksheets and the columns that I have available within it. I'm going to select done, and then straight away, Zite is gonna get back to building. And here we can see our inventory management software tool app has been built for us. We've got overview or high level cards at the top here, total inventory value, total units, low stock items, unique products. All of this is being pulled directly from our Google Sheet. Below that, we've got categories that enable us to filter down what we want to look at office supplies, food. We've also got all suppliers there and all stock levels. Here we can see directly what low stock is at. We'll have to clear this, all categories. And there we can see product three, electronics. We're only currently 16 in stock with a value of 1000. We'll notice on the right here that we're able to view a particular product, which opens up this nice clean side panel where we can see the stock history, enable a restock or order more. But more excitingly, we've actually got the ability to open up and change the stock level of each item, including a reason for why we're doing so. The next jump up is to have permission, user permission, permission user base, permission user base, what? We have the ability to open up our stock item and update the current quantity, as well as leave a reason for that change. Then updating our Google Sheet. Excitingly, we also have the ability to have user permissions. Currently, a warehouse staff member or admin can enact that action. However, if we change to a viewer, well, that action is impossible. All we can do is view the stock itself. So Zite has gone ahead and added user base functionality. The issue here though, anyone can select that toggle. So let's jump back into the editor and prompt Zite to actually include login authentication. And just like that, Zite on our behalf, and just like that, Zyt has actually built in a user authentication step, asking the viewer to first sign in and then taking them to a secure login portal. From here, you have the option of using Zyt's built-in login authentication process, or you could build out a new worksheet in your Google inventory tracker that is solely for your users. Include the user's name, email, and tie in their particular role to how you want them to view your software. Now, I just went ahead and removed that login authentication, reverted back to the version that we have with the toggle. Now, if at any time you do have an instance where you want to revert to the previous version, you'll see an undo option here from your last prompt. So just select that and that will revert to the build it had previously. Now let's take a look at the nice to haves and the must haves of any inventory management software. So we've got a clean and professional inventory tracker. Now, what about actually notifying our team, for instance, when a stock becomes critically low? Well, we saw that we have the ability to connect to other apps like Slack or email, but what we could do is actually prompt Zite itself to get this done for us. So I prompted Zite, so I prompted Zite to send a notification when we had a product drop to critically low. So I prompted just that, and here we can see I've been asked to connect my Slack account. From there, Zite takes control and will set up that notification workflow, which you'll be able to access here. Now, just as important as having a clean view of your inventory management dashboard, you need to also have the ability to export clean reports. And Zite has generated just that for us. So we can see now we actually have a top navigation bar. We've got inventory, which is the grid view, the view of our products we've seen. And then we've got reports, which will actually open up an interactive which will open up a bunch of widgets that allow us to visualize what's really going on. Now, the awesome thing here is that I didn't ask Zite, hey, I want you to create these particular graphs. I need to have visuals of this. It understands what we want to see, what people need to see. It's included low stock alerts, top 10 items by value, as well as a graph here and an interactive pie chart. Awesome. But we wanna take it a step further and actually enable the ability to export our full report, export a low stock. And we can take it further and include up here a sales potential, an integrations tab, a communications tab, extending the functionality of this software. 
And as we jump back into the inventory, we can see a little notification pop up. Two items critically low, product four and product 11. Here we can see we're down to 17 with the status of critical and we're down to 19 with the status of critical. Plus beyond that, as we mentioned earlier, our team would receive a Slack notification. So we're across it and onto it without any issues arising. You can improve this further and further. The great thing about Zite is all you need to do to improve and tailor it to your needs is to simply prompt it. Request a change and then wait for Zite to do it for you. Once you are ready to share your app, just select share in the top right corner, publish, and you'll have a unique URL. You can of course include a custom domain or embed it wherever you like. Now, before I let you go, we do need to discuss pricing. If you've looked at the popular inventory management tools out there, you know that they can cost a pretty penny. They're built for big warehouses and complex supply chains, so they're priced to match. And that's where Zite differs. It gives you the power and models itself on a credit-based system. You can build and launch and only pay for the prompts and the features that you include. No subscriptions unless you need them. And when we consider the price of Zite, you've got a free plan that starts and the pricing tier is incredibly affordable. I'll make sure to leave in the description of this video some helpful resources on how you can get started with Zite today. You can take it even further, customize how it looks and feels, include other features and functionalities, or even use Zite for your other internal tools. There really is no limits with what you can build and how you can help you and your team get more done with a vibe coding tool like Zite. If you need help getting set up or automated, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where a team of experts are offering a free 30 minute consultation. So book yours today. 